Learning about the German side of his heritage was part of Alex Smythe's upbringing, and he recalls putting on his lederhosen on Saturdays and attending German language lessons. And in this next segment, there are the pictures to prove it. One of Alex's holiday traditions was making German cookies with his Oma. We join Alex in his festive kitchen where he shares how to make this special treat. This holiday season, I wanted to share something special with the AMI family, so I'm gonna teach you all how to cook my Oma's famous German cookies. Traditionally, they're known as Raiderskuchen in German, or bow ties or angel wings in English, but in my family, we've always known them as Krumpelkus. Before I get started, this is my grandmother's secret recipe, so don't tell her that I shared this with you. We got sugar, flour, butter, almond extract, lemon extract, vanilla extract, and some rum, three eggs, baking powder, and some milk. Let's get started. So first, I'm gonna add the four cups of flour. Get that all in there. Next, I'm adding the one cup of sugar, then the one tablespoon of baking powder. And now I'm gonna mix them with my hand so it's all one consistent thing. Now that all the dry ingredients are nice and combined together, I'm gonna create a small well in the center of it. First things first, I'm gonna crack my eggs into the well. Okay, that's one egg. That's the second one. That's two eggs. And my final egg here. Next, got a stick of butter. I grab my knife. I'm gonna cut it up as I put it in. Make small little cubes so it's easier to mix. And don't be afraid to get your, your hands dirty while you're doing this. Now for the extracts. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of my vanilla extract. Now the almond. There we go. One teaspoon of the lemon extract. And now this shot of rum I know is more than a teaspoon, but the reason is this shot's for me. Cheers. That's good. I've already pre-measured a teaspoon of rum here, and now you get your hands dirty mixing. Oh, that's nice and wet. Getting all the ingredients nice and mashed together. Just keep mixing, so you wanna make sure all the flour and dry ingredients are coming into contact with the wet ingredients. When you're mixing, it's not gonna be all cohesive right away, even with the wet ingredients. You gotta add some milk. Now I'm gonna start mixing, and you'll start to notice that it's starting to bind all the ingredients together, slowly but surely. It's getting close, I'm gonna add a bit more milk in, just a small bit at a time, about three teaspoons. Now the dough's ready, I'm just gonna throw some saran wrap on it and let it rest for a bit. The dough is now rested, so I'm gonna roll it out. I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on my cutting board and on my rolling pin, and I'm gonna start rolling. My Oma always says that the thinner, the better when it comes to rolling out this dough. Okay, it's nice and thin, so now I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna start cutting the dough. I like to cut vertically down and make nice three inch wide strips. After I've finished cutting the dough vertically, now I'm gonna cut at an angle, creating little diamond shapes. I'm gonna make a final cut in the center of the dough, pull one of the ends through that cut, and it's gonna create that cookie shape. I got my pot of sunflower oil all nice and hot and ready to go on the stove. I'm gonna gently put in my first cookie. Oma always says the oil has to be nice and hot. Getting nice and brown on both sides, the cookies are all complete and they're nice and cool, so the final step is topping them off with icing sugar. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of icing sugar, put it in a sifter here, and I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle them over top, like fresh fallen snow. What's more Christmassy than that? Taste test time. Crumbles apart in my mouth and hands? That's why we call it crumble fist. Now that my cookies are done, I'm ready to head out the door and join my family for Christmas. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas too. Alex says it took years of effort to finally get the recipe from his Oma, as the recipe is written in German. You can't get much more authentic than that.